Pony specifically on a Renekton that's, you know, a bully champion, you're going to want to play aggressively and go for those trades, proc your pressy attack. It's going to have to worry about the jungle difference, um, you know, if Broxa decides to make an early visit up there. Still want to see if there's some changes on the Fnatic side. Like, I'm, we always say it's Heimerding a bot lane, but technically you can move it around yeah. to a lot of different lanes. Talia is currently sitting on Cass's awesome. side, and we saw it earlier today over in the Rift Battles between LMS, LPL, and LCK that we had Talia mid being used. What a fun meta, boys. They get to <laughs> still theorycraft even after the full champ selected. I know, there's completed. just so many ways you can do it. Heimerding is still sitting on uh, on Soas, I believe. That doesn't mean that he can't go bottom lane, though, Deficio. It might just be that between the two top laners, he is the one more comfortable on Heimerdinger. No rules. Huni, now level three. I don't know if he can look for the turn here. Brock's going to run forward, holding onto the pillar for now. Wants to block the escape. Huni looks like he's just going to go down. First blood for Fnatic. For Bwipo to just keep pushing forward. Yeah, bwipo has got access to level six here on Orn, too. The ultimate should come through. Huni, how's he going to outplay this one? Knocked up. Oh, the chain CC comes in. It's too much damage. <laughs> how's he going to outplay the bounce out? Get hit by everything. Ideal, that right? That sounds like a really <laughs> bad plan. <laughs> and that's what hey, he it's looks worked for. for him before, Deficio. It has worked for him before. Uh, and this is the type of hubris that you associate with Echo Fox. They they always feel like ah, they can outplay. Oh. One me two. Situation. There you go. Cool. Good pillar. Flash out from Broxa to try to make it to safety. This might be the kind of hubris Shot you associate with Broxa. This is very awkward. Got him. Headbutt. <laughs> Pulverize. Oh, Huni's on the way. Yeah. Gonna give him the smack. Oh. oh. Taken down almost instantly. Shut down there. That's the strategy. Just returning to the mid lane. May look for a little bit more damage onto Alltech. The Skirmisher Saber Smite comes out. Good damage. Nice sidestep, though. Here comes Broxa. Can they take down Alltech? Has to flash out to safety. Darnok still with the body block. The rest of Fox is here first. Fnatic need to make it out. This is not what they want. The chain CC once again hitting home. Brox is gonna fall here in an instant. Adrian taking the kill. Big difference is the roam from Demonte and Adrian here, but Caps actually walls off Dardock. Nice! Oh, nowhere for him to go. Cow goes down. Soaz happy to grab the kill. He's trying to leave the mid lane and actually go to side. It's oh. kills. Hillside. Hillside flash. Hillside gonna get knocked back. No, the flash out just in time. The silence to stop Alistair from looking for any follow up. The Caps. Takes an IT flow. Playing this is food. TP on the way in. Darduk knocked back. Has a bit of time here with the ultimate. Whippo on the way in. Gonna use the Bella's breath. Get the knockback. Following up with the ultimate. Can he reactivate before he goes down? Yes. Oh! No! Knocked up. Beautiful play from Echo Fox. Individual CC coming home. Demonte on the back with a double. Wouldn't really worry about it because Conqueror. Well, obviously, in you have armor reduction on Press the attack. Very effective against Caps in the last jank as well. That is true. <laughs> Don't think he's gonna get a second one. Instantly deleted. Of course, Demonte would potentially interrupt the channel. Okay. Finds it. Huni, though, will be in trouble. Is he going to sidestep? The first knockout comes in. Pillar to follow. Get a nice little knockback there. Huni going to try to heal, but no. No chance. In case we get a situation where yeah. you get game. The 1v2 strat not working out so well. Here comes the Rift Herald in mid, though. Let's see how many they can get. Minions already pressed forward. No one feeling comfortable approaching right now. That's the triple bounce for the Heimerdinger. Can they just delete him immediately? Yes, they can. All tech oversteps and is just eliminated. It's hard to play a Kaisa now as Fnatic starts to take control of the mid lane once again. May just push in, but here comes Stardock on the front line. May just look for the fight. Can he get the combo? That's the three man knockout. Could be everything that they need. Fox trying to turn the fight. So as still making it out safety. Rockets coming in. Stardock about to fall. Alltech is still alive, but he's at half health. Not ideal. They will grab one onto Blippo though. One for one, or rather one kill going over to Fox. Good setup. Can they get a mid lane turret for it? All the Fnatic is still around. So as is dancing around for a little bit more. Shut down. Those are the kind of plays you expect from Huni, and now Nordok has to be no careful, ult. though. Could just get taken out here. Yes, the threaded volley lands for Caps. Fnatic will strike back. Go for it, but looks like they may just walk into the jungle. Roxa is going to be in trouble here. Kaisa gets a hit home. That's going to be a lot of damage onto the jungler. Oh, two picks immediately. Death brushes used against Fnatic. That is just insult to injury. Oh, lack of vision there as Echo Fox slip into the jungle and take out two members. Fnatic still grooving up his five. They're looking to pressure the mid lane. Dardock not going to get the hex flash off. Does have to back out. Broxa running to safety. Knock up onto the Alistair. Not the ideal target, but good damage coming through anyway. Both body blocking for now. Demonte wants to flash forward. A big oh. risk. Gets deleted immediately. The, the beautiful play from before. Giving hubris. Loki mid lane. Or Dardock getting knocked out as well. Fnatic turning that in an instant. Individual mistakes plaguing Echo Fox. TP coming. Who's it going to be? Who's on the way in? Are they going to find it? Dardock moving forward. Demonte there on the back side. They immediately want to cut through the jungler here. Can they get the pick? Should be quite easy. All tech is there. Broxa left all on his lonesome. Goodbye. Fox getting one for themselves, but there's Soaz. Ho, ho, ho! You got to see for the next fight. Now, after Demonte used that flash aggressively, there is no stopwatch, which we had the last time Whipper tried to target him. 
Dardock, though, still moving forward. Oh. Crane gonna go in. Dardock trying to force the play. Alltech ready to go in at a moment's notice. Three items completed. That's a strong Kaisa. So much missed there. Now they don't have flash on Dardock. Oh, running into the middle of everything. Dardock silenced. Gonna try to block what he can. Hooney in the backside, dealing damage. Caps hunting down the AD carry, but goes on the wrong side of the wall. Not what he needed. So as taking one down. Caps still playing with his food. Blocked by the minions. Alltech needs to be careful here. Oh. Good use of the supercharger to take him to safety. Spread out and members have been caught. Right now, Wait, Dardock Hoodie. very Hoodie. far away. Hoodie wants it five! He wants to get caps. A lot of damage goes in, but the silence field is gonna stop any follow-up. No, the Void Seeker does not connect. It means Alltech has no way into the fight. The CC already used. No stacks of plasma it means no Kaisa in this exchange. Dardock is there though. Can they get the rest? The oh. shutdown goes in. This is so good for Fnatic Hooney over steps. Oh, let's remember they used double TP already. They're on cooldown, so no one could help him. Behind enemy Fighting lines. In the funnel, double knockup from Quippo. Nice disengage comes in from Demonte. He wants to buy a bit more time. Cap flow on mana means he can't contribute a whole lot in this fight. No, but there the goes the call of the Forge God. All tech knocked up. He tries to make it out to safety, but Caps just cuts him down where he stands. Adrian going for a lap here around the enemy jungle. Doesn't look like it's going to amount to much. They'll take a bit of time to kill him, but the rest of Fnatic taking their way into the mid lane and looking for a little bit more. Of course, it's going to be difficult to get on top of them. Soraka set up. Heimerdinger going to start to set up. Oh, well, maybe they can take down Whippo. That's going to be big if they can find the pick. But no, Demonte actually getting picked off by Cap. Now the damage is starting to come in. Call the Forge God. This could just be the cleanup fight for Fnatic. All D not going to connect. <laughs> Weaver's ball comes out. Caps goes absolutely nowhere. Buys a bit of time with the Hourglass. Alltech not going to be able to get one. Can he get any kills? Can he turn this around? Does get one before he drops. But Fnatic cleaning up house. One final fight to bring it home in the end. Echo Fox do their best to hold on the base, but it is Fnatic striking first in favor of the European LCS here at Rift Rivals 2018. And we said in Champ Select that Fnatic have played against this draft quite a lot. This style, the funnel comp, you know, G2's doing it all the time in Europe. They scream each other a lot, and they know you can abuse the side lanes.